We've got a beautiful day in the Washita Mountain Range of Western Arkansas today. Got a nice breeze blowing. You might be able to hear the wind blowing in the tops of the trees. I'm getting ready to set round seven D wall. Then I have two more pieces to go on B wall. And from there on to the top plates, it will be full length logs. So let's get this up on the wall. I've got to get a little bit of slack right here. I'm gonna to have to cut underneath the strap. So I'm very, very cautious when I do that because I sure don't want to cut the strap. I'm up high enough now that I'm having to use a step ladder. It's well up over my head. I think I can get that strap out now. I'm getting ready to set round seven B wall. I know I've, I've mentioned that round eight is the header logs that goes over the door and the windows, but on round seven B wall, this will be the, the full length log that goes over the window. And I'm going to bring you in here a little bit closer and show you how I'm doing this and what I've got to do to it to get it ready to set. I've got the height of this opening uh, already figured out. How much I had to come up from the center line, which in this instance it's uh, two and three quarters to where I'll actually cut out. This part right here will remain. It will be the full length. Now I've got my lines here and I've scored these lines with my utility knife and I also scored this line across here. Now what I'm going to do, I'm going to plunge my saw down on this line and cut halfway through down to here and then I'll roll the log over and do the same thing from the outside. Now I'm not going to cut 
this whole thing out. I'm going to leave the inside, this part right here, attached to the log until I get it on the wall. I will cut halfway through the log on the outside. And when I get it on the wall, I can just take my chainsaw and just cut up here and here. And this piece will come right out. But I want to leave this in here. I don't want to cut this out and then set it because I've just got so much wood left here. I want to leave this on the log, attached to the log for the strength while I'm picking it up and setting it. So I'm going to fire up my saw and, and cut this line right here. And that'll be the only cut that I do from the inside face until it's on the wall. I'm standing on a little homemade platform to get me a little taller. I call this my grow tall. I'm not a real tall guy. I need to be able to get up where I can see the line and be up above it. Now that's the only cut that I'll make from the inside face until I get it on the wall. Now I've got to roll it over and do that same cut from the outside.
Now on the outside, I'm going to cut this line right here up to my cutout, but I'm only going to go halfway. I'm just going to go down here to the angle iron slot here and here, but this, this will stay in, but when I set it on the wall, as I've said, I'll come back and cut the inside face out. So I still have this much wood from here down that's holding this together really, really good. And I don't have to worry about uh, when I'm picking it up, just having this little bit of wood here at the top to support the, the weight of both ends of it. Now I'm ready to put it on the wall. Okay, I have round seven B wall up. Went up pretty easy. And I've got blocking in right here and blocking in right here. Now, on the very top up there, I have flat spots just like I do here. And when I put round eight up, I will have flat spots on the bottom side of round eight and I will block in between at the opening, well actually this is up above the opening, I will uh, put blocking on both sides and then I can go back and put my flat spot in the center of round eight to uh, carry the weight from there on up in the center. But I will wait until I get round eight B wall up before I go ahead and cut this piece here out. I've got A wall round eight hooked onto the hoist and ready to set on the wall. Uh, this will be the going over the front door. It's always exciting to me when I set these full-length header logs over an opening. It just kind of begins to close things in and it just gives it a really neat look. I'm ready to put this up on the wall and uh, get it set. Now with it sitting on the wall, I have no fear of going under it, because it's there. I love it, I love it. Yeah, that's starting to look like a cabin. You know, since I'm already strapped on to 8C, let's just go ahead and get it up on the wall. What do you say? Mm -hmm. 